cup of coffee with Mr. Coffee. It's doing it's doing its thing in there. Can I let open this? No. Okay, so I won't do that. <laughs> and of course, Chewbacca is gonna have it be having some. So guess what? Uh, the Xfinity guy came in the morning, and we now have cable and internet. And now Chris is setting up. Um, ah, it was blurry again. This light makes things a little blurry. But um, Chris is setting up the Wii so we can have Netflix on our TV down here. And we also, you saw we set up Mr. Coffee. Everything's still a bit of a mess, but it's making shape. So I'm really excited about that. Now we're gonna go to a Super Target because there's one just like three blocks that way. Or maybe it's like five, it's, it's really close. And um, we get to um, buy our first load of groceries and some more house stuff, yay! So we're at Target, we just got our, our first grocery run and there's a microwave in there. But boy, was it hard getting here? We have no idea, but we'll tell you about that later. Hello everyone. Um, so Becca and I Wait, have some. Show my apron. First. Oh, sure. Isn't it the coolest apron ever? It's like a dress. <laughs> She's so hot in her apron. Okay, that's it. All right. So, <laughs> um, so guys, we have some uh, really sad news. So. Okay, that wasn't, but don't, that's such a sad it was bad. It, it was, it, it sure. Someone died. Well, my heart almost did. Um, so what happened was, Beck and I, you know, we moved in on Friday, and we've been working really hard, and it's been crazy. And basically, um, this morning we said, okay, the people from Xfinity, because we got Xfinity internet and TV, so I can finally see how I met your mother on Mondays and Agents of Shield on Tuesday. Good show, by the way. Check those out. Anyway, um, so we were like, oh man, awesome, now we can finally, you know, go and, and we can go do stuff. That was like the last thing this weekend we had to wait for. So the guy did the internet, he did a great job, uh, he did the, you know, everything was set up and everything worked and we were like, yay, we're connected to the world again. And um, we go outside and we start looking for Becca's car, because the thing is we parked originally in a parking spot that was really nice. It was right outside our window. So we could look outside and see our car and be like, oh, there it is, uh, you know, sleeping softly. And what happened was we, uh, Becca had to go to Ross, so she left, took the car, and then um, parked it somewhere else. So we were walking towards the direction that she parked it in, and we couldn't find her car. And we're like, where's her car? And we are looking around everywhere for it, and we theorized, okay, the car is missing, our car got stolen. And I started freaking out because when I first moved to where I live, I used to live in a small town and then I moved to this big city and when I first moved here, um, the first thing that happened, the night we moved in to my old house, I was 16 years old? No, I was 15 years old. My parents' car got stolen. And it was terrible and we were like, oh my God, the car got stolen the second night we were living here. And uh, it wasn't until we lived in like a gated, house that I lived in with my parents that, you know, the car never got stolen or touched or anything. So, you know, here I am, we don't have a gate anymore, and I thought, oh my god, the curse continues, our car got stolen. Uh, so we called up the police department, we spoke to them, and they told us, your car is not stolen, it got towed. And we're like, what? It got towed? And what happened was, uh, we didn't know this because the people, the association, didn't tell us this in our, in our house, but apparently you need, even if you're um, parking in guest parking, you need a, um, what's it called, a, uh, like a, a validation, like a paper to put on that says visitor parking. Or if you live here, you need your, your decal that says, hey, I live here and this is my parking spot. And we didn't know that. So Friday night, our car didn't leave. So we thought, oh, okay, we'll keep doing this. But sometime around like two o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning, they towed our car. And so we went to the towing company and the guy was super nice. And he said, actually, this happens quite a lot in your neighborhood. Because it's really cool. Apparently what the people do is they walk around the parking lot at nighttime, like at two in the morning, and they see who is still here that doesn't have a parking pass 
uh, in the visitor parking or in the regular parking and they mark those cars down and then a towing company comes and tows them all away. So um, they told us, yeah, you know, this got towed. And um, so we, he told us, look, just talk to the association tomorrow on Monday, explain your situation, they'll help you out. In the meantime, put this paper, and he gave us a paper, and he said, put this somewhere in your car. But it's just our receipt from, like, the money we have to pay to get our car back. Um, Which I hope we get back. Yeah, we're hoping. Anyway, the camera's about to die, but basically, in a nutshell, we have our car parked, and we put a note on it saying, we have just moved over the weekend, and we couldn't get our decal because the offices were closed. We will get it on Monday, and then I put today's date, and I stay, uh, also taped the towing paper on it so they could see, oh, okay, they're not lying. These people are legit. Um, so that's what happened. I'm, I still have a bit of anxiety. We, we I, were able to park the car back outside the window so we could see it every now and then, but I'm still quite afraid, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not, honestly, with the, the thing there, the I'm not afraid at all. Um, but I'm just more annoyed because this morning I thought I had parked in the wrong spot and I thought it was my fault and I was crying like, I can't believe I did that and I was so upset. So I cried for something that wasn't my fault. So that's yeah. why I'm upset. Also, my arms hurt a lot because we are getting a lot of stuff this week. Yeah, we got a microwave. Yeah, microwave. Whoa, look, it's me. Da -da -da, I choose you, Pikachu. Um, so anyway, guys. To follow us on our journey. This is gonna be exciting, but it's also quite scary. And I promise you I will slide down these stairs and I will record it soon. I have plans. Goodbye!